hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video let's learn how to make a python program quit so there are three ways to exit a python program or quit a python program so first is using a quit function and uh, yeah this is also an inbuilt function you can use yeah so and second is an exit function this is also an inbuilt uh, function and the third is sys.exit so in order to use the sys.exit so you have to import a sys module yeah so these three function work similar so where you where it raises a system exit exception and uh, ask the interpreter to exit your python program so yeah so let me try to explain this one by one so let me use a quit so if I don't give any argument and uh, try to run this program so you can see process finished with exit code 0 so this is a successful scenario where uh, 0 signifies a successful and uh, non 0 signifies a non that is a failure scenario that is your program has abnormally terminated or failed and 0 signifies a successful scenario if i give none value so you can see that it is also a successful so you can see process finished with exit code 0 that means it has successfully executed your program and exited it exited from it so now let me give some value let's say 45 and try to run this program so you can see the 45 that is a whatever the number present in an argument it has returned to the operating system and now if i give if i give some error message over here that is uh, let's say program abnormally exited Yeah, so this is the error message that I am passing. So if I try to run this, so you can see that program abnormally has exited. It will generally print in a sys.exit, sorry, sys.error, that is a error file present in your operating system. And uh, yeah, so this program process exited with the return code 1 that means program has abnormally terminated so that is a non-zero code yes yeah, so this is how you can use uh, quit in any part of your program and uh, try to exit the program yeah so now let's use exit so this also works similar so you can try this so without any argument let's run this you can see exit code zero and if i give none over here it works same so let me run it so with the none it is a successful scenario that is zero stands for success and if i give some non-zero like uh, 34 this is the failure scenario so you can see process finished with exit to 34 and if i give some uh, error message program program failed this is a failure scenario and if i try to run this so you can see the program failed error message has been passed on to a sys dot error and uh, this is exited with return code 1 so similar ways you can also use uh, sys dot exit so let me import it there is not much difference so now let me show you so this is for failure scenario let's run it so you can see program failed and the return code is one that is a non-zero failure scenario and if i don't give any value over here so that is for successful let me run it so you can see program or the process finished with exit code zero yeah, so this, uh, these are the three ways you can use any part of use in your any part of your code in order to exit your program either one of these yeah so this completes the video 
that's it in this video hope you liked it thank you for watching bye